Welcome back to another video from Hacking and Securing Docker Containers course. In this video, we are going to discuss a feature called Privileged Flag. To be precise, we will discuss how Privileged Flag can be used by Docker containers and then we will discuss how it can be dangerous and what we should be aware of when using Privileged Flag. So when Privileged Flag is used with a container, it will give many capabilities to the container. And then if an attacker gains access to the container, he can take advantage of these capabilities which are given to the container through privileged flag to be able to escape the container and gain foothold on the host. In this video, let's understand how privileged flag adds more capabilities to a container. So to understand that, we will start a container without privileged flag and we will check the capabilities the container has and then we will start a container with privileged flag and again we will check the list of capabilities the container has. Let's see it in action. I am switching to my virtual machine. First, let me start a container using Alpine image and as you can see we are not using privileged flag with this. Now let's quickly get a shell on this. So I am just getting the container ID for that. So we can execute docker exec hyphen it and the container id followed by sh. It should give us a shell. To check the list of capabilities we have for this user in this container, we can use cap sh, cap sh hyphen hyphen print. Now cap sh may not come with all the distributions. So in some cases we may have to install it using apk add hyphen u libcap. So this command will install capsh for us. So now let's check capsh hyphen hyphen print. If you notice the list of capabilities that this container has for this user, there are only few capabilities that are given to this container by default. This is just a subset of a large amount of capabilities that we can have for a root user. Now let's exit from the container. Before that, let's take a copy of the list of capabilities we have gotten from here and let's save them in a file. vim capabilities.txt and let's call it container1 and I'm just pasting them here. Now let's close the file. Now let's spin up another container but this time using privileged flag. So to do that docker run hyphen itd hyphen hyphen privileged and then let's pass alpine image to it. Now let's once again get the container id of the new container and let's use docker exec hyphen it and the container id followed by sh. Once again let's install libcap by typing apk add hyphen u libcap and let's check the capabilities that this container has. If you notice, this is a long list compared to the one that we have gotten with the previous container. Let's quickly go back to the file we have created earlier and let's compare the list of capabilities that we now have gotten with the second container. As you can see, when you have started a container using privileged flag, it has gotten us more capabilities than what a default container comes with. Now, why is this a problem? It is a problem because if an attacker gains access to a container where he has more capabilities than what the container requires, the attacker can make use of these capabilities to perform a lot of different malicious activities and eventually he can escape from the container and gain foothold onto the host machine. From this list, cap sysptrace and cap sysmodule are some of the dangerous capabilities to name. Now you might be wondering why they are dangerous and how an attacker can make use of them. And that's exactly what we are going to see in the next video. We are going to use cap sysmodule capability to install a kernel module and we will load it onto the host machine's kernel. That's all for this video. See you in the next one.